Let's take a look at the Multiply Blend layer today. Um, Photoshop defines uh, Multiply Mode as um, it multiplies the color value in the layer and divides the result by the maximum pixel value, uh, the resulting image never being brighter than the original. Uh, I think that's the, the basic takeaway of the Multiply layer is we put an image on top of another, it multiplies the pixels on the current layer with the pixels underneath, and then you end up with a darker uh, variant of you know the two. And so I suspected there was probably a little more at play here. And so I set up a little experiment. So let's go ahead and turn on my white layer. And then I set up three rainbow colored boxes and I reversed the last one just so that we could see how the colors interact. Uh, the other thing that I did was I went up to the view menu went to the studio uh, item and then turned on info so that I could kind of see what the pixel values were, color values, uh, as I scrub over the image. One of the things that I noticed with uh, this particular experiment was that for black, um, the black is 100% black. So when you're using multiply, black is always going to remain black. Uh, white is going to be transparent. So when you're multiplying and you have, say, uh, line art uh, that you've scanned in, it's got a white background, but it's got predominantly uh, black or dark uh, line work, you can turn that layer into a multiply layer and then create another layer underneath that for coloring. Um, if you were doing kind of hand-drawn artwork with hand-drawn coloring. Uh, the other thing I noticed was that we had several bands here that all matched up. And what I noticed about those was, again, if I'm scrubbing over this info palette, you can see that those values are um, completely saturated in either red, green, or blue. So for the red band here that lines up, we've got a red 255. For the uh, yellow here, we've got red and uh, green at 255. And, you know, the same all the way across. Uh, the other thing, when I reverse these bands, you can see here, uh, we've got the complete saturation here with uh, red 255 or really close uh, and then it goes into dark um, basically black so again that multiply effect uh, and how it will interplay with other colors it multiplies the color above with the color beneath and you end up with some color that is darker than what appears above I just want to say thank you for stopping by my channel. If this video was at all helpful to you, it'd mean a lot to me if you liked or subscribed. Share this video if you know someone that could use the information. As always, if you have questions, suggestions for tutorials, or if there is some other creative software that you think I should start making tutorials for, leave a comment below.